What's going on everybody, it's ETA Prime back here again. Launchbox 13.9 has been released, and just like all of our new releases, we've got some fixes, improvements, and some amazing new features. 13.9 is no different because we've got fixes, we've got improvements, and we've got this really awesome new premium feature known as Game Discovery Center, and that's going to be the major thing with this release. I personally think it's absolutely amazing. It works with Big Box, and of course it is a premium feature, so you will need LaunchBox Premium in order for this to work. But basically, in a nutshell, Game Discovery Center is a new view in Big Box, which will allow us to discover our own games in new ways. We can access this from the system menu in LaunchBox, or we could set it up as our startup view. We could also set up a hotkey to automatically take us over to Game Discovery Center. So from our system menu, scrolling down here, you see we've got this new option, Game Discovery Center. And by the end of this video, I will show you how to set up a hotkey, but let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to start up Game Discovery Center, and we're going to be greeted with highly recommended games. Now these are only going to be games that we have imported, and this is going to take a list of all of the highly rated games with high star ratings, kind of put them up front here for us. This will do a list up to 25. And uh, just scrolling through here, you can see up to number five right now. But if I back up, go back to Game Discovery Center, it's a totally different list because there are a lot of great games out there. It's going to be able to populate tons of different games directly from the highly recommended games section. Moving down a bit, we've got our continue playing. So these are games that I have recently played. that will allow me to jump right back into them. Pretty cool here. There's also a recently added section. This will populate with all of your recently added games. Platforms. My favorited games. So all of the games that I've favorited in Launchbox and Big Box are going to be listed here. Definitely one of my favorites, Altered Beast. And uh, I might play that right after I'm done with this video. But yeah, give me the list from here. Next up, Compete for High Scores. So these are going to be great games that we can compete for high scores against the community with. And one thing to keep in mind is the compete for high score section is going to draw from your arcade or your MAME section. So if you don't have any MAME games imported, you may not see this, but it's definitely an awesome time to get them set up inside a launch box. Explore 1978. Games released in 1978. We also added a worst of section. So this can be a lot of fun when you're playing with friends. You can find a really bad game to kind of laugh at and play just to see how bad it was. This one just happens to be Worst of NES. But, uh, you know, if you don't have any NES games imported for some odd reason, then it would populate with a different platform. Let's say Worst of Super Nintendo, Worst of Game Boy, Worst of GameCube. Explore 2001. Again, games released in 2001. Feeling Lucky. Now, when it comes to these feeling lucky sections, these are totally random games from random platforms. It doesn't matter if it's got a low rating or a high rating. Just gives us a list of 25 games that, you know, we could go ahead and start playing something. Explore Sony PlayStation. Random PlayStation games. Explore the 70s. Explore Shooter. So this is the Flying Chase View Games of the 80s. This could be totally random here, and it could be just a top-down view. This is a chase view section here, so it really does kind of get very, very detailed in the different kind of sections that we can get into here. This is why the 90s were the best. Lots of great games from the 90s. Explore the 10s. Best of the 20s. And when it comes to the best of sections, these are only going to display games with high star ratings in the community. Explore strategy games of the 90s. And these explore lists that show up really don't care about ratings. It's just going to give us some random games here. Because I like Pokemon Stadium, it's going to give me a list of other games that I may like here. And yeah, there's some really great stuff in here. When it comes to a section like this, explore games from X developer, whoever it be. This is going to be totally random for you. It's going to choose a random developer. It's going to populate those games from here. Best of 1991. Worst shooter, flying, vertical games of the 80s. So I kind of really do like the worst of section. These are very low rated in our community star section. So uh, most of these aren't going to be great games. And if one is here that you really like, sorry about that. A lot of other people disagree with you. Another because I liked section. And remember, every time we exit and re-enter the game center, this can be totally different. You're going to get different developers. 
You're going to get different worst of sections, different best of sections, different developers. It's all going to randomize itself, giving us just a little more to kind of find games that we'd like to play. Best of the 2000s, Explore 1992, and the list goes on and on. Best of Sandbox, Explore Beat 'em Ups, Explore 1987. This is going to be awesome for finding games that you can play. Now again, there's several ways that we can get to the Game Discovery Center. We can uh, get there directly from the system menu. We can set it up as our start theme, or we can set up a hotkey on a controller or keyboard. And before we wrap this video up, I wanted to show you how to set this up as your start theme. So what we're going to do here is head into our system menu, scroll down to Options, Views, and our default startup view. Instead of Platforms, we're going to use Game Discovery Center. So now, every time I start up Big Box, it's going to bring me right here. That way, I can always find a game that I want to play. Now, there's one last thing. I want to show you how to set up a hotkey so we can easily get over to the Game Discovery Center. Basically, two things we could do here. We can do it from a controller or a keyboard. I'm going to go with a controller. So from our system menu, we're going to go to Options again. And all the way down at the bottom, we've got keyboard mappings or controller mapping. You would look for the same exact thing in keyboard mappings that I'm going to show you in controller mappings here. Show Discovery Center. And for this, I'm going to use my left bumper because it's not in use right now. So no matter where I am in Big Box, I can press that button and it'll bring me right over to the Discovery Center. Really easy to use. Personally, I've been having a blast with the new Discovery Center. Remember, this is a premium feature, so you will need LaunchBox Premium in order for this to work, but it's definitely a great way to find new games to play. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. We really appreciate you watching, and I hope you enjoy LaunchBox 13.9, especially the new Discovery Center. If you've got any questions, let us know down below. And like always, thanks for watching. <laughs>